I don't know if you took public health classes at UAB or Auburn when you were there, but we, we all have to be somewhat more up to speed on it now. Are you quarantining a quarterback? How are you, How is uh, COVID affecting your gig this uh, fall, do you well, think? Well, uh, we're taking the approach right now, probably, uh, probably a less extreme measure, maybe Philly if it's true. Now, this is this was my teenagers telling me that Philly was yeah. signing Josh and keeping him in Texas, but right. you know they're they're the ones that get the let's call it the right the the social media reports on the hour. <laughs> so they keep me abreast of the NFL. That's how GMs do it. Now, uh, I think the nice thing about what's been going on, I think the PA, the NFL, and then everyone involved executing it from staff, coaches, players. Uh, we're showing that you know there's a, there's an element of discipline uh, outside of the building to not to not bring the the disease here. Now that's been right as Alan Iverson said. Just at practice, we hadn't started traveling yet, but I do think some of the technology that we use here that may be different than other places that that can tell you on a day to day basis, you know how close you are and how much time are you spending in in, in the in the warning proximity uh, that allows you to then uh, let's call it do an after action review and say, maybe we, we ought to right split some people out, uh, keep them a little bit farther apart so that it, if there is uh, an unfortunate uh, outbreak within, uh, you know, each player isn't at that point in a warning zone. So we're going to kind of take that approach uh, early and 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 see how it works but we definitely have discussed it on a, on a week-to-week basis on on what is the best measure to make sure key positions if you i guess you'd call it right preparing for uh the most catastrophic if you can say mm-hmm. right losing a player for an nfl football game is catastrophic no it, no i understand that no 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 we're taking less we're game, talking about but, no you're talking about what and, and i understand and i appreciate you giving that caveat because we know what catastrophic in the era of COVID is. And I, I, I hope nobody is thinking that you would ever use that cavalierly. But for your job to put football players on the field, and we are, you know, in the we're in the season, and you're in the construct of having to win football games because that is what your job is. No, the, having, having basically Jared Goff testing positive on a Saturday, that would be um, catastrophic, certainly if it's before an, NF- an, an NFC championship game. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the sort of thing that that I'm wondering how a general manager can plan for. Well, it's interesting. We did have a mantra in the building, right? And and, and, and we're, we're to that week where, right, we're going to keep score. And, you know, those scores are going to be recorded and they're going to they're going to show up in standings and, and right. And, and people like yourself are going to right analyze those scores sure. and, and standings throughout the season so we've said within the building right hey let's remember the mantra we're, we're here to win games and, and this year we'll add it uh, as safely as possible and and that's always the case because football is a dangerous sport with the athletic performance but now you actually have to add the asterisks and do some things out of the box because of the the pandemic but rich you made the you, biggest point ever because obviously when i bored you to death with my bullet points <laughs> i think i got through six and the most important one was all of that that i just said that uh y'all are probably going to cut out of your show or yeah. what have you not making the house all of those six better do one thing better win games and uh so in our formula right since since 2017, we're fourth and win. So, however you analyze what you're doing, and, and we know that you can be biased in, in, in looking at it, it does need to equal win. So, you make a good important point there, right? Uh, we're getting to the point in the season where this is it. wins do matter. Definitely right, and it starts. Uh, oh my gosh, Cowboys in the new in the new building on on Sunday night. That's going to be amazing. Uh, enjoy that, despite the fact. You know that, what's amazing? There's a game tonight, right? That's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's right. We have made it. Sure, y'all been talking about it. A little but. bit. We might talk about it a little bit more. Because the guys who met you, you must be like, don't come at me for Jalen Ramsey uh, uh, contract numbers. Why don't you go with that whole $500 million 10, 10 year deal, right? I mean, you want to talk about busting norms. That's a norm. That's, you know, but you got to hand it to, uh, to, to Lee Steinberg and his group, right? If there was going to be someone to be creative and go out of the box, you know, it, it seems fitting that it would it would not be 
ironic it would be coincidental that it was him. Well, I mean, it's a platinum box now. And by the way, I'm just wondering, do you have a? Do you, or is Lee holding you up in a in a negotiation? Are you using this show to to butter him up a little bit? Is that what you just did? Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, do not have. Probably, if I only had one player uh, since Lee. No, you know what I should say this but no negotiations yet uh lee steinberg <laughs> and his partner chris cabot have daryl henderson so there you go all right very good hey you watched all the way to the end thanks for that watch more right here